Welcome back to MSU Tonight. I'm Lauren Campbell and I am joined with Angie Hatton representing Woodman of the World. Um, and actually this week is um, National Homelessness and Hunger Awareness Month. And so we've got Angie here to talk a little bit about an event coming up. So um, tell us a little bit about this awesome event coming up on Thursday night um, and what it's about. Well, we're doing a hunger and homelessness awareness banquet, and this is a partnership between three agencies, the Gentry House, Soup for the Soul, and Need Line, that serve the needs of the hungry and the homeless in Callaway County. So I don't know if you're familiar with the hunger banquet, but I'd love to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, I've heard a little bit about it, and mm -hmm. it sounds um, super interesting. I know there's three meals. Yes, yes, so. you're clued in. Uh, we have three different meals that are served. And when people come in the doors to the event, they don't know which meal that they're going to get. They draw randomly from a hat, number one, two, or three. If they get number one, they get a high-income tiered meal. If they draw number two, they get a middle-income meal. And number three, they get a low-income meal. And they sit in different parts of the room. So it's a physical representation of something that we don't always see, depending on which social class that we're in, which friends groups that we're in. Uh, we might not see the needs in our own community, but this is going to be a way to show that, as well as hear from people who have actually been helped by these agencies. And it's a wonderful, um, very powerful tool. If you've never been to one before, it, it really is something to that's very special. Yeah, um, tell us a little bit about how to sign up for the event. How much does it cost? Um, can we sign up at the door? How does that work? You can probably buy a ticket at the door. We'd prefer them bought in advance. Mm -hmm. so it's better for uh, the catering to know how many people we're gonna be serving. Uh, but we have tickets if you are a member of the general public mm -hmm. for $50. But we did extend a special price for MSU students oh, cool. uh, because we had so many from the different departments, social work, uh, health, that were interested in coming. So for an MSU student, they only have to pay $15 oh, to get wow, in. Oh, wow, that's awesome. And get I the did not same know experience. That. Yeah, cool. yeah. So we're very happy to be able to offer that. And we do have some um, organizations, the MSU Social Work Program is mm -hmm. setting up an information table beforehand uh, so people can come by and, and learn a little bit about the program and the work that those students do for, through inter internships, excuse me. Okay, awesome. So where can we get the tickets as students? Are they sold on campus or do we need to they, visit your office? They're being sold in a few different locations. The different uh, board members from our agencies are selling tickets. And you can also, probably the easiest way for a student would be to go to the United Way office. Mm -hmm. uh, all of the partner agencies are under the United United Way umbrella, so United Way is helping to sponsor this event, and uh, they can get a ticket there uh, at that office uh, Monday through Friday. Um, okay. Give them a call, make sure they're there, so you can stop by and, and pick them up. Awesome. So, um, how many years has this been going on? Is this a reoccurring event? First year y'all have done it? Well, this particular iteration of the banquet is brand new. You know, we have had a hunger banquet last year. We had two of them, um, mm -hmm. and we decided this year to consolidate into one event because all these agencies work together on a daily basis. They're always in communication with each other, making sure that somebody who's served at Needline maybe gets a dinner that night at Soup for the Soul or gets emergency housing assistance from Gentry House. And it made sense to us to make this a joint effort uh, rather than dividing it. And it's also better for people who are wanting to help because they know that every dollar that they are putting toward a ticket is going toward the programming that these agencies are doing because we have sponsors that are covering the cost of the event. So, awesome. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned a little bit about what each organization does. I don't know if you're super familiar, but you, can you tell us a little bit about what the Gentry House does, what Soup for the Soul exactly does, mm -hmm. um, if we're interested in volunteering in that way, if we can't attend the banquet? Sure, I, I can share a little bit. I'm, I'm not a, an employee yeah, of those agencies, okay. but I've, I've been on the committee and I've worked with all of them. So I can tell you that um, Soup for the Soul, they serve uh, between 80 and 100 people each day, a meal from 4 to 6 p.m., uh, Monday through Friday. And there's no documentation you have to show that you are in need, mm -hmm. but they open it up to everyone. And there's a collection basket. If you want to make a donation, you can make a donation when you come in 
or you can just come and eat. And uh, we wanted it to be an evening meal for Soup for the Soul because they want to make sure they're capturing the, the groups of families as well right. so when the kids get out of school. Um, and then the Gentry House, they provide uh, housing for families specifically and they have um, a 90-day emergency housing that they provide. Uh, and they serve uh, between 10 and 20 families a year through that emergency 90-day housing. They only have four apartments that they're, they're providing, but they also do vouchers for people who um, maybe for some reason were evicted or just are coming to town for the first time or have had a house fire. So they do provide vouchers for hotel stays as well for those individuals and help get them connected to other services. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And the Needline uh, serves a variety of things. There are main food pantry in Callaway County and they serve, uh, I think it's over 700 families a month. And they do food as well as hygiene products uh, to help out with awesome. kind of emergency needs. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, but thank you so much, Angie, for being here. Mm -hmm. And if you are interested in attending the banquet on Thursday, um, pick up your ticket at the United Way office. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure you can contact any of those three agencies as well to get more information. But again, thanks so much for, for coming and spending some time with us and sharing that information. Um, up next, we have a box with some undefined objects in it. And one of our classmates is going to try and see if she can guess what it is. So stay tuned.